Hey friends, the other day I was walking down my hallway with a large basket of laundry and my sweater got snagged on a small skinny nail coming out of the wall. The funny thing about this nail was that it had been plaguing me for weeks and every time I brushed my arm against it, it drove me crazy. It even had put a hole in one of my favorite shirts. Well that day I'd had enough. However, instead of taking 10 steps into the garage where my hammer was, I was lazy and grabbed a book on the end table right next to me. I decided to try to bang the nail into the wall with the book. After a few hard whacks, I put a small tear into the book that I was using. I picked up a plastic brush on the end table right next to me. I started whacking the nail with my brush until crack. I had cracked the back of my brush in two, trying to push the nail back into the wall. You see, even though I knew I should do the quick extra work of going to get the hammer, I wanted to be lazy and use a shortcut. I often find that I try to do the same thing in my relationship with God. I know that I should spend time in God's word every day because it fills me with peace and wisdom. But sometimes it's easier to scroll my phone or sleep for 15 more minutes. I know that I should go to God in prayer when I'm anxious or worried about something, but sometimes it's easier to call my best friend and complain. God reminded me that his ways are always the best tools in my life. Instead of reaching for a counterfeit or shortcut tool, let's make sure to reach for God's best in our life. In 2 Corinthians, it says the weapons we fight with are not weapons of this world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. Let's make sure that we use God's weapons today to fight our battles.